हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज एना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज वेदर अंडरवेंट अ ड्रास्टिक चेंज आफ्टर द डस्ट हम हिट द सिटी ऑफ कानपुर इन इंडिया एंड इट्स विसिनिटी एरियाज ऑन मंडे द हाई वेलोसिटी विंड्स अप्रूटेड सेवरल ट्रीज कॉजिंग डैमेज टू कार्स एंड अदर व्हीकल्स पार्क नियर बाय द विंड्स आल्सो कॉज डिस्ट्रप्शन इन पावर सप्लाई इट लेड टू डैमेज टू वायर्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पोल्स At the same time the storm followed by the light rains was a welcome since it brought down the day temperature and gave relief from the severe heat wave conditions the day temperature which was recorded at 40.4 degrees celsius on sunday came down to 36.2 degrees celsius and this was over 4 degrees below the normal value the med department stated that the storm had set in due to western disturbance but was for the second time in two days the dust storm hit the region the first one being the saturday night but monday storm was very strong one a giant tree got uprooted and fell in k block in kidwai nagar vehicles which were parked close by the got damaged the vehicular movement on the road also got affected the trees falling also disrupted the power supply in the areas This was not the lone case as the tree fell on the main road in the Pandu Nagar. This disrupted the movement of the vehicular traffic. Tree branches broke off due to the high speed winds. A giant tree branch came down crashing on the CSA road. Luckily none was injured in the incident. A tree also fell on the car in another city's locality and caused major damage to the vehicle. A number of hoardings and the flex banners got torn off due to the storm. Hoardings erected atop making got damages and they came down on the road. Such an incident was reported from the Jari Puchauki area. People were also troubled due to the dust that entered their homes and other establishments. They were also troubled due to the power snags that occurred. The Med Department of CSA University said that May 25 there were still chances of dust storm again setting in. This could be followed by rains. The dust storm which hit the city with the 70 kilometers per hour wind speeds on Monday may have provided respite from the heat but it left the mango crop severely damaged. The mango growers here in Malihabad said that the high intensity wind hit the crop that was almost ready to hit the market hard. Moderate rainfall with the thunderstorm, lightning and gusty winds were very likely over Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal and Sikkim during next 3 days and over the northeast India during next 5 days. IMD said that the conditions are favorable for further advance of the southwest monsoon over some parts of the southwest arabian sea some more parts of the southeast arabian sea maldives and comoran area south and east central bay of bengal and some parts of northeast bay of bengal during the 48 hours the southwest monsoon may arrive in kerala closer to its usual onset day of june 1 and not may 27 predicted earlier meteorologists said although the weather bureau has not yet made an official forecast conditions are favorable for further advance of the monsoon over some parts of the arabian sea and the bay of bengal over the next 48 hours the india meteorological department said in a statement on tuesday Southwesterly winds have weakened and cloudiness or the outgoing long wave radiation is not optimum for the monsoon onset yet. Officials have to wait for the monsoon winds to strengthen before they can announce the official onset of the monsoon over Kerala. The monsoon's progress is stalled since May 20th. The monsoon reached Andaman and Nicobar Islands ahead of its usual date due to the momentum provided by the cyclone Asani. However, the momentum is lost now due to which the monsoon has not reached even Sri Lanka. Furthermore, current large scale atmospheric conditions are not supporting a rapid progress towards the Kerala. The India subcontinent witnesses fluctuations in the clouds and rainfall due to the tropical intraseasonal oscillation. 
In simple words, there are some days in a season during which atmospheric and oceanic conditions do not support the development of proper clouds and rain, whereas on some days these conditions enhance the process of cloud formation and rainfall. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.